there, I'm Josh Clark, and this is The Brain Stuff, where I explain rear view mirrors to you. Have you ever been driving along at night, and all of a sudden some piece of human garbage drives up behind you with this brights on and just rides you, and you're like, what's going on? What is your problem, buddy? And then you remember, oh yeah, I've got a little tab on my rear view mirror that makes magic happen. You flip the tab, and all of a sudden, you send that guy packing. Sure, he's still behind you, but it's not a problem any longer, especially if you can kind of angle yourself so you don't get your side view mirrors in your face. You're just in heaven, basically, going down the road with that guy, and who cares about him and all of his problems and what his day was like. But have you ever wondered, like, what just happened when I flipped that tab? Well, I'm here to explain it to you. See, what looks like a little piece of flat mirror hanging from your windshield is actually something that's called prismatic wedge. What looks to be flat is actually a angled mirror with a wedge of glass. It's just normal see-through flat glass in front of it at an angle. So when you're driving along and it's normal daylight hours and everything's just typical, when you look into the mirror, you're actually looking right through that angled glass in front, which is now downward, to the mirror in back. And again, everything's normal. You're looking into a mirror. What's there to say? But when it's nighttime and somebody drives up on you with their brights and you flip that tab, the rolls are reversed. The mirror in back is now angled upward and the glass is flat to you, which means that about 4% of the light is actually being reflected, which dims the image. Presto! And if you're one of those suspicious types who doesn't take guys on YouTube's word for it, you can go out and prove it to yourself. Get this, get into a parked car, preferably yours, in park with the keys out of the ignition at night with a flashlight. Those five factors are very important. Put the mirror in dim mode and turn the flashlight on so it's pointed at the ceiling. What you're gonna see is a full reflection of the ceiling because the light on the ceiling from the flashlight is so bright, it overwhelms that measly 4% reflection of what's behind you in the glass. It's been proven. Try it, I dare you. Now, there are some fancy schmancy new mirrors that use electrochromic technology that employs a low voltage electrical current to go through the glass and actually physically tint it. That's a whole other can of worms altogether. All I'm talking about is that magic, normal, old timey tab rear view mirror that does some pretty cool stuff considering how easily you take it for granted. So go forth and apologize to your rear view mirror for taking it for granted. Say, I understand you now, I get you, I feel closer to you. And if you don't have one, maybe either get a new car that does have one, or you can go to your local auto parts store and pick one up. Do it today.